Hi, it's George again. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to draw this model in 2D and 3D in less than 10 minutes. Please remember that there is always more than one way of drawing anything. My method of drawing with AutoCAD may seem unusual to some people, but it has worked for me for the past 20 years. So please stay tuned. What you are looking at is my 2D drawing and solid model of the object. If you look at the icon in the lower left corner of the screen, you can tell that the drawings displayed are in paper space because a right, small right triangle is shown. The first thing to do is to erase both the large and small viewport. You can see that the drawings disappear from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates but when I redraw the viewports later on. To get into model space, I'll click the model button. Please notice that both drawings still exist in model space even though they were erased in paper space. Now I'll erase all drawings from model space so that there will be room to redraw both the 2D and solid. Now I'll make the 2D drawing. With the line command, I'll pick a point anywhere on the screen with ortho on and draw a line. Then I'll move it to the left and type to enter. I'll move the line up, pick a point and stop. With the rotate command, I'll select the line on the right and I'll type 36 enter. I'll, re I'll repeat the rotate command, select the line on the left, go to its base point and type minus 36. Now I'll use the fillet command with radius 0, clean up the intersection by selecting both lines. At this point, I'll use the line command and draw a line with ortho on to the right. Then I'll move down and type 1.38, enter. And then I'll move to the left and type 1.38. And then I'll move the line up. Using the offset command, I'll offset this line to the left 0.75. Also, I'll repeat the command and offset the bottom line 0.75. Now, using the fillet command with radius 0, I'll clean up the intersection there, repeat the command, clean up the intersection there, and lastly, this intersection. Using the copy command, I'll copy that line and move it over here. Now I'll use the extend command to extend to that line and to that line, enter both ends of this line. The 2D drawing is now complete. I'll put the dimensions on later because we do have a shortage of time here. Actually, I just finished putting the dimensions on because I want to save time and did not have the video running. The first thing to do is to freeze the layer which contains the dimensions. I'll make a new layer called solid and give it the color red, making it current. Now using the polyline command, I'll trace over both of the triangles. And I move the copies to the right hand side of the screen. Now I'm going to thaw the dimension layer. Next, we'll move into the southeast isometric view and extrude the triangles. The large triangle will be extruded 1.38. And the smaller triangle will be extruded 
0.75. Now, using AutoCAD's Modify 3D Operation 3D Rotate command, I'm going to select both of these solids and pick a base point there. I'm going to select the red ribbon because I want to rotate the drawings 90 degrees clockwise. And now I'll move the small triangular solid inside the big one. And using AutoCAD subtract command, we will subtract from the big solid the small one. And using the visual styles toolbar, we'll add the conceptual visual style to it. And now I'll switch back to the top or plan view to show everything. Having finished the 2D solid model and dimensioning of the object, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawings properly and make the drawings ready for printing, so I'll click the Layout 1 button. As you can see, my template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll type M View, enter, and select two diagonal intersections to create the larger and smaller viewports. I'll double click inside the smaller viewport and switch to southeast isometric view, then pan and zoom to enlarge the solid. To get back to paper space, I double click outside the small viewport. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of 1 to 1, even though individual viewports can be set to different scales. You set the scale of the large viewport by clicking the Properties button then the standard scale is found under miscellaneous. To repeat, you select the large window, then go to the properties button, then you'll go to miscellaneous, you'll find a standard scale here. In this case, I'm going to set the scale to 1 to 1. Once the scale is set, you want to double click inside the large viewport to get access and then you can pan to uh, so that only the 2D drawing is visible. Sometimes it's necessary to move the solid. Didn't have to in this case. Now you double click outside the large viewport to get back into paper space. Finally, if we don't want the large and small rectangles to be printed, we can go to the layer dialog box and freeze the layer V ports. Uh, which, uh, of course, is where the viewports were located. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed following these instructions and want to make more solids, please, uh, you can search YouTube under ND Guide for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.